Ageless. Hello, today we've been doing some miniatures in Glassland. So what we're looking at doing is some glass sessions. Um, we got a small kiln because we've got big ones and stuff. But it's easier to actually transport this and doing the thing. Plus, as you can see with the display, it just looks really cool when the glass heats up like lava. So, what we did was we built a mini kiln shelf. This is a little thing that will withstand the heat to put the pieces. Um, and it's kiln washed with um, special stuff to stop the glass sticking. Now, then what we do is we take a little mini piece of kiln fibre paper which is another layer to stop them sticking and then we actually design our pieces of glass here's one we prepared earlier mostly just because I always wanted to say that and I never ran a cooking show so there's one there that we prepared earlier here is another one that we prepared earlier so we'll put that one there um, and usually here's one that we'll prepare right now so with glass you have to stick it two layers on top because glass likes to be six mil thick and this is um three mil um, what will happen is that when we design our piece it will actually uh, heat up and turn to liquid and all fuse together so i'll put that little piece of glass on top of there we'll just pretend that i cut that earlier and it just wasn't on camera but that didn't happen. I basically just dropped a few pieces of glass and picked up the pieces. So what I'll do is I'll arrange that there. Or well, maybe I don't like it like that, actually. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put that. I'll put that there. And then I'll put this on top, just to be different. Because that will give a few edges and it keeps it a little stripey type thing that is happening nowhere else inside my head. Yeah. Oops, that fell off, but don't worry, we'll put that there. Now what we can do, we've got three pieces here. We can fit six on this, but we're just doing three for the sake of the argument. So what we'll do is we'll lift that up. And you can see that we've got um, little stands in there almost that are created. And then we'll take this little mini shelf. And we'll slow it up. Sometimes that will happen. It's a problem when you use kiln shelves that are not 100%. What usually happens when we do these is we actually glue it all down. Um, when we used to do it on the road, we'd actually glue it down and they wouldn't move and then we'd send it on its way back to my place and cook it in a bigger kiln. But we're trying to actually get people into seeing the glass and really getting engaged in it because we just think it's really good for people's mental health um, right. so wrong way there we'll slide that in I'll just put that there right. so that actually goes in our little mini kiln you can see little kiln shelf slid in there right. I'll just double check that that last piece stuck because that's a bit tricky. I wouldn't do this while it's on. But since it's not on, I can do anything on. So then we'll shut this. And we'll actually turn it on. Now this might take an hour or two. But what will happen is it will actually heat up. And then what will happen is we'll probably pause the camera and come back to it and um, show you at different intervals where it's heating up and melting and getting hot. Um, just so you can get a feel for what, what we're actually going to be doing. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. So we'll come back to it when it's warmed up a bit. I just turned the, turned the timer on and you've done 4 minutes 46, you can actually have a look. The report for right. last day was climate. The forecast is blue. It's changed the outlook from January to March. Also shown, the high temperatures are likely to be. That's so pretty. Is unlikely in the summer. 
Now what I'm going to do is, that's going to be there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you can do your stuff now. Okay, dogs. So now that we've fired this, what we'll do, we should be able to lift it up. There's always a few little thermal shock, but we've had it going long enough. And you can see in there that there's the pendant. I'll just check that temperature and see how it goes. Hopefully. That should be okay. It doesn't appear to be too hot, but thankfully, I've got a heap of fingers, so if I burn one, I can always get some more, even get a rare touch. But you can see, well, they're still very hot. So those pendants are still very hot. They'll need a bit to cool down, but that's why we have the kiln shop. Mm. So we'll actually take that off and put this over here. And we'll just let these cool down a bit more. Yes, but that means uh, this is here at all angle. But we could actually quite literally, I can feel the heat on the pendants from the bottom of the kiln shaft, so they're still quite hot. But we could quite literally just put another one in there and fire that one at the moment. I'm optimistic that these will cool down quicker out there, but you can see that two on the back there are fully fused. And the one next to it, the temperature didn't get hot enough, so it's kind of tack fused and contour fused. That's all right, we can fire that again. We know how much our surface working space is. It's between here and there. You can see in the first firing that might have vitrified just a tiny bit, which tells me it's a little bit too hot. But that's okay, we'll just adjust it accordingly so that we can get some nice pendants out. But that's what we did from the start. So we'll just put that over there and we'll just let those cool down at room temperature I think. Just back in there. Yeah. And away we go.